My friends, literally the moment we have all been waiting for. We have finger movement and finger range without having to have a leap motion. If you're as excited as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below. And for more content like this, make sure you click that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's learn more about 3D Kaleido Face. So 3D Kaleido Face was developed by a solo dev named Rich. Dude, thank God we have Rich because none of us have money to buy the leap motion. But if you do have money to buy the leap motion, and thank you, shout out to my Patreons who supported me to be able to afford the leap motion. You could check out my video on leap motion for another way to get hand tracking if you're interested in that. So go ahead and click that card above or go down below for that link. Anyways, so Rich developed this 3D Kaleido face. Uh, it sounds like he's made earlier versions of it as well from a little bit of the research I've done, but I'm gonna show you guys and give you a little bit of walkthrough about how to get your avatar set up here so you can stream with a webcam. And if you're interested in getting the same webcam I have, I'll leave a link down below so you can check that one out and order that for yourself. Cool, so the first thing we're going to do is go to 3D.KaleidoFace.com. I will leave that link down below for you to go to. This is awesome because you don't have to download anything. It is literally a web browser based. Also, I'm not sure what kinds of computers can or can't handle this specs wise, but if you're interested in what kinds of specs my PC has, again, I'll leave that down below. So what you're going to do first to get your avatar in, it does have to be a VRM file. So if your model is not VRM, I highly recommend you check out another YouTube channel that might talk to you. For example, Sofami, she talks to you about how you can convert your avatar over to VRM. VRM stands for Vroid model, which is made with Vroid studio and again if you're interested in learning about how to make a vroid model i will leave a link to one of my other videos down below that will talk to you about how to do that okay 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 i know i'm talking about so much stuff so much information but let's get started okay so let's go to characters and once you have your vrm file make sure it's somewhere accessible i like to put mine on my desktop because that's the easiest way to find it so you're going to click this upload button and you're going to go find your vrm file i have a bunch in here i'll switch to another one just for an example so i'm going to go to saya crystal outfit uh, a nice person in the community made this outfit. That's why it's called Crystal Outfit for me. And then you could double click on it and it should load in. So you have your avatar loaded in now. You can move around holding right mouse button and like circling and you can do left mouse button to pan and then middle mouse button to zoom in and out. You can either zoom or you can hold it and drag. So there's two different ways you can do that. So one thing we do have that's cool is we have some backgrounds over here. So if you want to upload your own backgrounds, do your own colors, green screen, blue screen, whatever you want, you could try any of those options. So we also have this stickers option down here. You can click on it and then drag it over and put it on your avatar. So now we look cool. We got glasses. Uh, we can bring a table in if we wanna make it even more fancy. You can scale everything. So if you need to scale it, you can just go to the corner of it and drag. So cool, we got a table, we got glasses. Yo, this is starting to look awesome. Let's, you know what, let's add a cake here, why not? Yo, by the way, if it's anybody's birthday out there, happy birthday. <laughs> this cake is for you although i don't know why there's plushies on the cake that's kind of creepy all right cool we got our setup now let's start face tracking so i'm gonna go ahead and click this big blue button and start face tracking now the only reason that you can see me on my camera down here and it's able to track my vt avatar is because i literally have two webcams on the top of my pc remember your webcam can only be used for one source at a time so if you wanted to have like yourself in this it wouldn't work unless you have a second webcam like i did uh, but if you have one webcam you should be able to track fine with your avatar as you can see, things are tracking now. You can look at the upper left to see where the points are on everything. As far as best practices go, you want to make sure you have a ton of light going in on your webcam or it's going to be hard to capture. Now, another thing that I found on this, which is a little bit of a downside, is you kind of have to be far back for it to pick up your hands. And it doesn't go all the way up. It only sort of bends so much. I haven't seen it be able to go like super close up to your face. Uh, Leap Motion does a better job. So again, if you're interested, you can find that video down below if you want better hand tracking. But you know what, I'm not complaining because this is free and this is web browser based, which means you don't have to download anything. I'm proud of our man, Rich, he found a way. So you have your tracking there. If your tracking's not working, make sure you're connected to the right webcam. You can go to settings in the upper right and you can make sure that your camera is switched to the specific camera that you do have. 
You could also switch to just having face tracking. So you can click both. If you want both on, make sure both are highlighted with this blue box. If you only want one at a time on, see how my face tracking is not very much. But if you want both, there we go. Make sure you click both of those at the same time. Or if you want just face and eye, you can click that. So it's highlighted. You can hide your camera panel if you don't want that little box up there. So that's another really useful thing. So go ahead and play around with those if you want. And it looks like your body will freeze too if you turn it off mid. Okay, there we go. Cool. You can hide your controls over here. So that's pretty epic. And if you want any more information, you can go over to this eye. Another really cool thing is you could call a friend. You can click this little phone button. You can get your chat ID, which is here. And you can set it to your friend so that you guys can connect and be in the same space it's like a vtuber skype yo maybe one day we'll get like a form of vtuber discord or something who knows so 3d kaleido face get it use it hand tracking without having to pay for leap motion it's pretty epic thank you so much gems if you enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button and i'll see you next time bye